Hello and welcome to Russia Today. I'm Tara Sunderland and here are some of the stories we're following for Friday, August 7th. Moscow seeks continued peace talks in Kosovo. Tax Chief Fyodorov attacks Parliament's move to block reforms. And Russia urges Baghdad to cooperate with UN inspections. Moscow is imploring Serbian authorities and ethnic Albanians to pursue negotiations to end the conflict in Kosovo. Sergei Lavrov, head of the Russian observers team in the southern region, warned that talks were needed to prevent further civilian suffering. Lavrov's urging comes on the eve of a visit by Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Nikolai Afanasievsky to the province. Boris Fyodorov, Russia's tax chief, on Friday condemned Parliament's efforts to block improvements in tax collection. Measures to increase collection and other reforms are central to the government's tough anti-crisis plan. Fyodorov said recent gains in tax revenue are encouraging, but that work must continue for further improvement. He added that 75% of income tax goes unpaid, exacerbating the country's already tenuous financial situation. Russia on Thursday urged Iraq to resume unconditional cooperation with UN weapons inspectors. Talks between Baghdad and Chief UN Inspector Richard Butler broke down earlier this week. A statement from the Foreign Ministry said that Moscow was concerned over the latest quarrel. But Baghdad has warned that tensions with the UN Security Council will continue unless the Council reformed what Baghdad sees as undue American influence. Previously, Russia had said the two sides shared the blame and insisted that both parties work toward mutual cooperation. And now taking a look at the business news. The Russian government on Thursday agreed to help Gazprom and other suppliers collect cash from federally funded customers that have payment arrears. Prime Minister Sergei Kirienko made the announcement after a meeting with the gas monopoly head Rem Vyakirov. Kirienko said recent government demands that taxes be paid promptly would mean that the government must also pay for services on time. The two sides have been battling over mutual debts of billions of rubles. The Central Bank of Russia has set today's exchange rate at 6.255 rubles per dollar. And that's Russia Today. For the European Internet Network, I'm Tara Sunderland.